Hi everyone, I'm here to share with you what I made for, at least so far, for the November bargain bead box. What you're looking at is just set number one, um, which is a necklace I made with a dangle. I did use the melon, I used a lot. Um, I originally was playing around with turning these into a multi-strand bracelet and I wasn't liking how it turned out so I decided to use them as links and um, I actually pulled out some uh, lobster clasps from a previous bargain bead box so this I believe is um, 18 inch with a 2 inch extender and a little drop on it and it's a strung necklace here I had these closed loop um, gold square or diamond shaped um, rings square rings which I used to put this on and then I made it uh, snug in between those two red beads and I think it has a nice a nice flow um, to it so we have a tassel but not a fluffy one for this then these were the first pair of earrings that I made and again I I was looking through all my links and connectors and I found these sort of Aztec looking ones which probably were bargain bead box some time ago like maybe two years ago or so and I just put on three little identical um, char um, dangles at the bottom and hooked them on with a five millimeter uh, gold plated copper jump ring and this is just loose so it has movement but it fit the shape it I think this was actually supposed to be the other way and I just turned it upside down and um, <clears throat> so that this shape goes down that shape as well if you know what I mean it fits on there perfectly and now I can't get a hold of it right to put it back there we go and then this one actually was the last pair of earrings I made I wasn't sure about using these but I thought I had I think I had four of these left or maybe only two and so I just used them yeah I think these were the last two of the melon beads that I had so I just decided to use them I still need to spray these or something because they're they're a little they're a little wild like this one or put hairspray on them maybe or something I don't know so I just use the these are ear wires are all from the kit this one is um yeah it's right so just the glass beads the rondelle six by four cranberry the melon beads and these are all from the kit so I just added jump rings and actually in this case eye pins in this case just jump rings and head pins um, yeah and these um, from years ago I used to belong to bargain bead box back in 2018 and early 19 and then the barrel beads um, I put actually on the red ones too I put the um, bead caps from the kit and so I just wire wrapped that on wire and put a loop at the bottom and then I did um, and a loop at each end and I just added these um, onto it before it, I made a regular loop here and I wire wrapped a loop up here and that way I could put these little dangles on and I made it so that they hung nicely with the red being the primary in the middle but a little bit of the purple showing too and you'll see why a little later on but this has some purple in it and this is sort of a purpley red <laughs> So I used three of those crackle, um, what are they called? Crackle agate barrel beads, frosted crackle agate. And I used four of the um, ten melon beads here and two here. And then on the bracelet, um, I just did a simple strung. I put uh, bead caps, wire guardians, again the closed um and i'm not sure you're even seeing this a closed diamond shape or square jump ring and meaning it's soldered closed and i, I used a lobster claw on this and i just sort of mirrored um 
this here in a way and I used the melon bead and the um, frosted agate and then I made it smaller towards the back because I think it just lays better if you have the pieces that you want to showcase in the on the front of your wrist so let me put this down I'll be right back with set two okay everyone so this is set two this time I use the Lampwork Art Glass Handmade Round Beads in Violet Petals with Gold Stone Swirl. I tried so hard to look for gold stone in my stash, and I have some, but it's all like, um, oh, what are they called? Like an octagon shape, and they're that with a lot of black in them, and it just didn't look right with these beads. However, these also have, a, see the gold stone right there? These also have a lot of black striations through them. So I um, had bought a bead mix many years ago from Jewelry Television, JTV. And I rarely use it because the beads are, I've separated them by color, but I don't know what stones these black beads are. They could be black agate, they're probably black agate. They're all gemstones, but um, I don't know which ones they are. And some might be sardonyx. Uh, anyway, so I pulled them out and I used them and I wire wrapped all these links, but I did attach each link together with a five millimeter gold plate of copper. Um, jump ring rather than just linking them directly together and the reason I did that is because I was actually still playing around with design and what how I wanted things to be so these are my focals and then I have these are fluorite I separated the fluorites by the sort of whitish ones um, the purpley ones and then also you'll see um, in the next in the earrings I'll show you some green um, but yeah, so this is the fluorite. These are the dolomite, they call it something jade, mountain jade, dolomite, round beads, violet gold. And then I just repeated, so I have fluorite with the little violet jade crystals, the dolomite mountain jade with the gold spacers. And then the black beads, whatever they are, with the gold spacers. And then repeat, fluorite, that, and the black. And I end with the, you see these are getting a little cloudier here. I end again with a lobster claw and that closed jump ring. Um, they're the only shape of closed ones I had big enough for that. And then for the earrings, I just um, wire wrap them. And let's see, I just, I'm not the best at doing this, but these particular fluorite are starting to get a little more green. It's the best green ones I had. So I went with like a more deep purple, the green, and then sort of a pinkish color. Um, and I thought those went really well. And then, the, oops, whoops. And then, if I can hang on to it, um, the dangles are all, I actually put the shorter one in the middle this time, did I? No. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I put the shorter one in the middle this time, and they, they sit nice, I think. It doesn't always show. I mean, they're supposed to be like that, but they're not cooperating. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just wire wrap them on a piece of um, 20 gauge artistic wire, I believe those are on, in gold color gold color so and then the bracelet is like the necklace is wire wrapped I was also originally going to use one of these uh, toggle these toggle clasps for earrings the ones from the kit but I decided to use it on this bracelet and um, I think I lied about my wrist size in the past I keep telling everybody it's a seven but I kept looking at my have a bracelet board you know to put things on and I kept putting them on um, and it was like fitting me, but it wasn't up to a seven inch wrist yet. So I have this bracelet thing and, um, I know I'm getting off track, but apparently, now I'm doing it wrong. Hang on. 
Let me do it this way. <laughs> I have to do it like this. There we, there we go. I think where it ends. I'm actually at, nope, the zero is here. I'm at a six and a half, snug. So six and three quarter is more like it for me, for my wrist. And this is actually just about exactly a seven. So um, now it actually is a little bit loose on me, but that's all right. I'm probably not gonna keep it for, for me anyway, even though it's it's um you see it's a little bit loose here so seven seven and a quarter now yeah but i did it the same way i made um except that on the bracelet um i didn't wire wrap i just made loops and i have a looping plier and i don't use it i tried but i started with eye pins and i just hand did the other end and most of them are pretty consistently sized. And then these are the five millimeter jump rings again. The little bead caps I put on the um, dolomite. And I did that because those beads actually have a white, um, whitish top. Um, so, yeah, that's what I did. So that is set number two, and I'll be right back with set three. Okay, everyone, this is necklace number three. Um, I used the poinsettia design and I was going to do multi-layer and again, I decided not to. I just decided to make it a focal point. So I did a little wire wrapping with some 22 gauge wire. If I flip it over, this you can wear it either way. Uh, this actually is a wrapped loop but it's brought through and up and back through so it's stabilized and then these are put on and a wrapped loop done and put onto the beading wire and it's put again in between the two reds to hold it in place but I did I was able to get free movement of a little bead in the middle of the poinsettia and I, I really like how that turned out even though it's pretty simple um, yeah simple to do and I had to use um, 22 gauge gold uh, plated or gold finished copper wire to do that um, just because the holes in this that I needed in in this very center were very little because there's not too many holes right in the middle there to make it come out right so then I used the last two of the um, beads and I brought this first bracelet back and I only made the two bracelets to show you that that would work with this set as well because it has the melon beads and it also has the little purple violet uh, opal um, what do you call them? <laughs> crystals and then here I strung it up to here these are actually um, bead frames I found in my stash my my business stash and I put, I tried putting the red bead in the little reds, but they were a little too big without showing too much of the wire, beading wire. It is a gold colored beading wire. Um, and I just, so I just put in a little gold spacer and a violet opal. And then on the other side, I have a violet opal and a um, crimp cover. And then I have, um, I believe that is four inches of chain on either side and again a lobster clasp and I thought these were perfect because I had the square closed jump rings so even though this is floral but I just love how that sparkles and I wasn't sure about the red and purple together but I think it came out beautifully with the dolomite beads and the crystals and the, um, the gold color in it. And then the last pair of earrings, I brought in these two pair again because I thought they could be worn with this as well. I used those tassels. <laughs> now here I used the violet opal to go with the violet. A fluoride with a little bit of a pink hue to it to kind of go with this pinky color. And then a red to go with the red on the bottom. Put them all on an eye pin. 
and wire wrapped it and hooked this on to the bottom of the eye pin and that was it. I need some sharp scissors because this one I think is a little uneven at the bottom but maybe not. I mean, it's just organic that way. So, <laughs> so that's it. And then of course this goes because it's got the melon beads and the red and violet also. So those are my makes. Now let me, I'll flip you around and I'll show you what I have left. And um, yeah, so I made three necklaces, two bracelets, and one, two, three, uh, four, five pairs of earrings so far. And I do have, I used quite a bit, but I have quite a bit left. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So... What I have left is, I didn't count these, but um, it said 100 pieces of them. I'm guessing I have about 20 left in here. And I did have a couple duds, meaning that um, two of them were, the drill hole was not drilled through the middle. And I think two or three of them, the actual lacy stuff had actually, it was too thin and it was broken but i still have about 20 of those left number two the floral chiffon tassels are gone number three uh it said a 15 inch strand of these six by four faceted i have 36 left i don't know how many were there i didn't count them at first i don't think um, i'm guessing about 100 and i have 36 left and um, the steel oval chain you get a meter I still have two feet approximately of the chain left because all I used it for were tassels and the backs of two necklaces and a little bit on these earrings and oh you can't see them I'm sorry anyway and a little bit on uh, two earring tassels uh, the necklace one the first necklace tassel and the backs of that first necklace and the third necklace Okay, so the 100 piece 4 millimeter gold finished steel round spacer beads. I have 29 left out of 100. Um, I still have an idea for this. I just did not get to it. And, but I still want to use it because I actually like this. And I think I want to use this for a piece for me um, that maybe I'll wear around the holidays or something. I don't know yet. And then. Um, Let's see, the fancy filigree brass links, I used them in the, fir the first necklace. The 10-piece strand handmade lampwork glass fluted melon beads, they're all used up. 6-piece strand frosted crackle agate is all used up. And let's see, then we have the earring hooks. There were 20 pieces. I have 10 left. One of them is not good, um, but I can fix it. It's not um, it's not curled all the way into a loop. Easy fix. So I basically have five more pair of earrings. I used them on the five pair that I made. Okay, there was a seven and a half inch strand of natural rainbow fluorite. I have eight pieces left. I don't know how many were exactly on the seven and a half inch strand. But I have eight pieces left, and I have uh, three, six, seven pieces left of the dolomite. That was also a seven and a half inch strand, both or eight millimeters. And um, I do have two. Well, I used up the triangle tassel drops, these little red ones, and. Um, I used one, oh, where did that go? I have one more of the toggles. Yes, I do. Here it is. I have one more toggle. I have the, had them in this bag and everything else is in there empty. <laughs> uh, but I have one more toggle left. Uh, so I guess I won't be able to use that as an earring because I used the other one. And number 17, the Lampwork Art Glass. I do have two left. One is a little bit darker and smaller than the other so I can't use them for earrings but I'll probably use them as a focal and some kind of dangle at some point and out of the 18 inch strand of 4 by 3 crystal rondelles which I'm guessing is over 100 I have 44 of those left I love those actually they sort of 
they're violet but they go with the red really well too so um if bargain be beadbox bargains gets them in there in they have like a pink violet pink it's violet jade shimmer maybe the shimmer is what does that but they're a really pretty color at first i thought mm, but i really enjoyed those uh, a lot so i hope you enjoyed what i made so far i that might be it for a while because i am going to switch gears to some other projects on my other channel plus i have um, some other projects for this channel coming up yeah probably in a roughly five days or so so yeah so here's the final look all the necklaces together the five pairs of earrings well most of them you only see part of this one there we go and the two bracelets that i made a strung one and a wire link one and um of course this isn't hanging right because it's got everything else hanging on it but this hangs really nicely when it's on i've tried them all on <laughs> this one is 18 extendable to 20. i think the other red one is 22 and this one i think is um 20 inch necklace so i had a lot of fun making it thank you so much bargain bead box and i'll be back at some point to hopefully to use these up or at least make something else with this uh this piece and at the very least and maybe maybe some of these violet opal and i don't know about these red because they aren't the right color but maybe i don't know not sure what beads i'll use with it actually these purple ones these go pretty well with it those would have gone well with it but i used them all up, so i'll have to figure something else out <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and a great weekend talk to you soon hugs love and peace